Hello grade 11s and welcome back. As we have seen in some of the calculations that we have done from equations, certain reactions release a gas as one or more of the products. A bomb or dynamite explosion is such an example. There are certain reactions that produce a very high volume of gas and these reactions have definite issues. Such examples include explosives in a car's engine and in airbags. Let's start by having a look at explosions. Here is a sample of garden fertilizer. A key ingredient of fertilizer is ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is also a major ingredient in explosives such as dynamite. Ammonium nitrate has the formula NH4NO3. Ammonium nitrate is easily accessible as it is used in so many fertilizers that terrorists can easily obtain it to make explosives. Ammonium nitrate decomposes when heated according to the following reaction. Ammonium nitrate decomposes to form nitrogen gas, water vapor, and oxygen gas. You can see that all the products are gases. None of the gases themselves are dangerous. It is merely the huge volumes of gases that are suddenly produced very quickly that cause the explosion. Let us have a look at an example of such an explosion. One kilogram of ammonium nitrate is packaged and made into a bomb. What is the total volume of gas at standard temperature and pressure released when the bomb detonates? First, we fill in the information given and confirm that the equation is balanced. We were told that we have one kilogram of ammonium nitrate, which has the formula NH4NO3. We want to determine the total volume of gases produced in the equation. From the balanced equation, we now determine the mole ratio, which will be 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1. Now we use the equation N equals small m over big M to determine the number of moles of ammonium nitrate that we start with. Next, we use the mole ratio to determine the number of moles of gas produced. We get 24,99 moles of nitrogen, 49,98 moles of water vapor, and 12,49 moles of oxygen. Now we use the equation V equals N multiplied by VO to determine the volume of each of the gases produced. Finally, we add up the total volume of gases to determine the total volume of gas produced. We get a total of 1,959,02 decimeters cubed of gas produced. As you can see from this calculation, a very large volume of gas is released the instant that the bomb detonates. If you think that a classroom has an average volume of about 100 decimeters cubed, a 1 kilogram ammonium nitrate bomb would release an amount of gas equivalent to about 20 classrooms instantly. Next, let us have a look at the combustion of petrol in a car's engine. The combustion of petrol in a car's engine is another useful application of a chemical reaction, which produces a large volume of gas when the petrol combusts. This diagram shows the engine when there is no pressure buildup. The piston is at the top of the cylinder and fuel from the last stroke is at the top of the cylinder and new fuel is pumped into the bottom of the cylinder. This diagram shows how the spark plug ignites the fuel which reacts with oxygen in the air and produces carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. The equation for this combustion of petrol in a car's engine is shown. The volume of gas produced in the reaction is large enough to cause a huge pressure buildup as the gas is contained in such a small space that the piston is pushed downwards. It is this stage that provides all the power that moves the engine and the machine connected to it. This cycle is repeated continuously whilst the engine is running. Each stroke of a car's piston introduces about 5 grams of petrol into that piston shaft. 
Let us have a look at an example and calculate the volume of gases produced in this combustion reaction. Each stroke of a car's piston introduces 5 grams of petrol into the piston shaft. The petrol combusts and produces carbon dioxide and water vapor. Calculate the volume of gases at standard temperature and pressure produced in each piston per stroke of the engine. First, we we'll fill in the information given and confirm that the equation is balanced. We have 5 grams of petrol, which has the formula CHH18. We want to determine the total volume of gases produced in the equation. From the balanced equation, we now determine the mole ratio, which will be 2 is to 25 is to 16 is to 18. Now we use the equation N equals small m over big M to determine the number of moles of petrol that we start with. Next we use the mole ratio to determine the number of moles of gas produced. The ratio of petrol to CO2 is 2 is to 16 and the ratio of petrol to H2O is 2 is to 18. Now we use the equation V equals N multiplied by VO to determine the volume of each of the gases produced. Finally, we add up the total volume of gases to determine the total volume of gas produced. We add 7,85 and 8,83 to get a total volume of gas of 16,68 decimeters cubed. This volume of gas is forced into the piston under high pressure. This will cause the pressure to be very high in the piston shaft and this pressure is what pushes the piston downwards. Lastly, let us have a look at airbags as another example. Airbags are a safety feature of most modern vehicles and frequently save the lives of drivers and passengers. The inflation of the airbag involves a chemical reaction that produces a large volume of gas and it is this gaseous product that inflates the bag. Once the airbag has been inflated, it will need to be replaced, as all the chemicals will be used up. The chemical in the airbag that undergoes a reaction is called sodium azide. Sodium azide has the formula NaN3 and it decomposes according to this equation. There are sensors at the front of the car that cause the sodium azide to ignite in a collision. The nitrogen gas produced is the gas that fills the airbag. This takes only 30 milliseconds or 0,03 seconds. Let us have a look at a worked example. 130 grams of sodium azide is packed into a deflated airbag. Calculate the volume of gas produced if the sodium azide decomposes when the airbag's chemical reaction is activated. First, we fill in the information given and check that the equation is balanced. From the balanced equation, we determine the mole ratio. In this case, the mole ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 3. Then we use the equation N equals small m over big M to calculate the number of moles of sodium azide. The mass of sodium azide is 130 grams and the molar mass is 65 grams per mole. We get 2 moles of sodium azide. Then we use the mole ratio to determine the number of moles of nitrogen gas produced. We get the 2 moles of sodium azide, divide by 2 and multiply by 3 to get 3 moles of nitrogen gas. Finally, we use the equation V equals N multiplied by VO to determine the volume of nitrogen gas. The volume of nitrogen gas produced is 67,2 decimeters cubed. This 67,2 decimeters cubed of nitrogen will be the volume of gas that ends up filling the airbag. Well, that has been interesting, as we saw some uses and applications of more relationships. This brings us to the end of this series. 
Remember to try some questions in the task video at the end of this series. You can also find out more information on this topic at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining me in this series. Until next time, goodbye.